Hello out there, my name is Benjamin and thank you so much for joining me once again in the studios of Blabben Solutions. You could all bear with me that we are in the month of love. So we need to do things for love. So in today's video tutorial, I will be walking you guys through a step by step with no steps skipped on how to create a love church flyer. But before we begin, let me take this opportunity to say a very big thanks to you for clicking this video. If this is your first time of being in here, this is Blabend Solutions and we are into the production of graphic design video tutorial. If you think videos of this nature will be of great benefits to you, then I encourage you to hit on the subscribe button, like, share and let me know your thoughts by leaving them in the comment box below. If you are back to the channel, thank you so much for showing up once again. Without any further ado, let's quickly jump right into the video. Alright guys, so as you can see here, these are the resources that I'll be using and these are my text. Okay, so I have my Photoshop application already open here. So first thing we're going to do is to create our workspace. By doing that, we come to File tab, click on New. As we always do it so I will be working in pixels so please bear that in mind and uh, in here we're going to be using uh, a size of the width size to be 2300 pixels and um, something 1500 pixels so we could as in name this church or vows day church flat right so 300 resolution RGB color mode everything is okay in here let's click okay all right so we have something like this so the first thing we are going to do is we are going to create a solid background color so we can do that by coming to our adjustment fill then we can choose solid color so I'll be using a color of hexa code C E 0303. So, this is a color that I'll be using. All right, guys. So, the next thing we are going to do is to create another background color, but this time a gradient background. So, we come to, back to the same place and click on gradient. And in here, I'm going to change this color to something like a violet. A dark violet dark violet okay so something this way it isn't cool but I'm okay with that then maybe I can change this yellow color to something reddish right reddish let's bring it this way good then maybe I can increase the opacity of this a bit that's too much so this this way is okay all right so if we are done we can just click okay okay and there you go so let's see what we have okay so something like this now the next thing i'm going to do is i'm going to import my first image what is this then i'm going to lay this on top as this so holding my shift key i can create this layer and maybe i can make this overlay that's cool right then the next thing i'm going to do is to bring in my other image do same enlarge it so what i'm going to do here is I'm actually going to wipe out these hands that we see here then I'm going to leave the sky okay so I'm going to rasterize this layer right click on it and let's choose rasterize then I'll go in and select my eraser tool that's my eraser tool so increase the size a bit and maybe check the hardness of it okay so 0% and maybe something like this okay so let's begin to wipe let's begin to wipe all right so we have something like this 
Now let's select our move to bar. Then maybe I can overlay this as well. Let's see what happens. Okay. 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 So we have something like this. Yeah. Alright, so that is that is okay. Then let's continue. So I'm going to actually draw an ellipse tool. So come in to the tools panel and right click here. We click on our ellipse tool. Hold your shift key to get a correct proportionate size of it. This should be white for me. I'm okay with this size. So that I'm going to import the logo of the church which is Providence Baptist Church. Alright, so I'm going to resize this a bit. So always make sure when resizing, you hold onto the shift key before resizing. Alright, so so I, you can see that the color of the logo, as in the background color of the logo, is different from that of the color of the shape. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click. So what I did was, uh, you see this tiny vector box so I'm, I'm going to double click in here and i'm going to select the color layer from this side so i have something like this then i'm going to add a stroke to the circle so come on to my add layer style stroke and maybe add a red stroke all right at all okay let me let me change this to this very color all right So we can actually group the logo and the ellipse tool together. So by selecting both layers, you press Ctrl G on your keyboard, Ctrl T, and let's hold our Shift key to resize this. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. All right. So I think this is okay. This is cool. So I'm going to leave this in here, and let's quickly go and import our text. So I have this from this side. So with my text tool selected, I can paste this. So I'll be using a font by name. So if you can see, this is the character tool. If you can't see, find this character in here, just go to Windows. And there you go. You click on character and you automatically have it here. So with my character, I can make changes to the font that I've written here. So I'm going to use a, a font type name mirai pro dash that i guess you know this font and i'm going to reduce the size to something small and i'm going to space out the text let me make it eight all right so i think this is cool then i'm going to place this in here this way i think we can still reduce the size of our logo all right so let's hold both the logo and the text and let's align them so in here we can align this in the middle right good all right so let me share this guys so control g to group this then i'm going to name this logo good so the next thing we have is presents right presents back to our type 2 and I'm going to paste this in here present I'm going to be using a font name great vibes great vibes maybe make this 10 so we can put this in here all right that is not visible enough okay so we can actually go back and do the rest of the importation of the text so um, i'll quickly forward this part and i'll get back to you guys shortly
all right guys so welcome back uh what i did was i i imported the text and the name of this font is harabara so with font size 36 and the name of this text is uh, helvetical instrument with size 80.89 and the name of this text is uh Mirai pro with uh font size 9 okay so what i'm going to do next is i want you guys to pay critical attention I'm, i want to bring out some strokes around the matter the text matter so what i'm going to do is i'm going to hold my control key and click in here so you see that my text is having this dotted moving ant okay then what I'm, what I'm going to do next i'm going to create a new layer on top of that text and i'm going to my select tab go to modify go to expand and maybe we can expand this to about uh let me say nine then let's click okay after that let's select uh my key rectangle my key two then come back in here right click and let's stroke it out and maybe we can make this change the color to white i guess click okay and in here we have the location where you want so we can if you want you can take it at the center if you want you can take it inside then outside so i prefer outside so everything here is okay and uh, we're good to go so click okay and we are okay so to get rid of the moving and just press ctrl d to deselect and there you have it all right guys so next thing is we're going to group all these layers together it's actually raining here so select the layer um, all these layers and we're going to group them together so with my shift key selected Control G, and maybe we can name this thing. Then the next thing we are going to do in here is we are going to create a rectangle to here with color white, having a white background. So I don't need a stroke; I just need the white background. And I'm going to shift this here a bit. But before, let's work on our time, date, and our venue. Alright guys, so welcome back. Now, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to type in our last things in here. So, with this white uh, rectangle to selected, I'm going to create another one inside. So, something like this. This should even be something like this. It's okay. Right. And I'm going to use... Um, We can't see it because it's beneath the first one so there you have it all right so i'm going to change the color to match this color all right so okay so this okay and what i'm going to do next is i'm going to duplicate this layer ctrl j shift it down press ctrl t i'm going to resize this something smaller size okay so something like this then maybe i can shift this up a bit okay so on top of this we could have we are going to have guest speakers Reduce the size of this to about 10 and maybe space out the text in here. Right, good. I think I still need to scale this a bit. Alright, 
so what i'm going to do is i'm going to bring in the first guest speaker which is reverend eastwood anaba I don't need any spacing in here and I'm going to change the font color to white and maybe increase the size a bit All right. then the name of the next guest speaker will be James Reverend James Atikbo so put my tag 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 all right so maybe bring this in here control t increase the size okay so the next thing i'm going to do is i'm going to rasterize this rectangle to then I can use my lasso to to divide and maybe color one part and maintain the red color on the other part so I'm going to start in here something like this something like this then maybe go something like this good then come in here then with my great bucket grid as in pink bucket to select it i can come in here and change the color to any color that i think i like and i can just come here and paint in here like this and there you have it so control d to deselect and we have this right and the last thing i'm going to do is i'm going to copy this bible quotation text which, is, which can be found in Ecclesiastes, sorry, uh, Corinthians, First Corinthians chapter thirteen, verse four. That states that love does not hurt. Love is kind. Love is all the qualities of love. So I want to speak out the text in here. So when we reduce this to eight. And I'm going to continue and spacing it out. Let me bring this fonts together. Good. All right, guys. So we are in the love season, right? So we need some love background, right? So I have this font by name Photogrammy Hat, and uh, we can actually bring this love background in here. So select your type 2 and uh, let's quickly type in the photogrammy 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 all right so photogrammy hat and uh, control t and maybe we can enlarge this good So this can actually be placed behind this. So yeah, there you have it. And maybe I will change the color to and maybe reduce opacity a bit. I can as well duplicate this layer. Sorry. Alright guys, so this brings us to the end of today's video tutorial. If you made it to the end of this video, thank you so much for your time and I really appreciate you. Until then, this is Still Blabbing Solutions and make sure to subscribe, like, comment and share the videos as well. Until I come your way next time, thank you so much for choosing Blabbing Solutions. 
and see you in my next video